Hey everybody, Johnny the Painter Man. Well, today I wanted to talk to you about heavy equipment and how to use it and pretty much how to protect yourself. After all, your safety is important because if you're going to do painting and you're going to make that money, you need to be protected. Okay? Protection is extremely important. This happens to be the Genie S65. This has a lot, it's, it's, it's a span of 66 feet, but realistically, I mean, you can stretch it as far safe, safely 52 feet, or 52 something feet. This happens to be uh, um, a diesel, a diesel unit and it's four-wheel drive this is something that will get you virtually anywhere providing that you have flat terrain in order to drive back and forth you don't want to be driving on soft on soft grass if you have sprinkler systems make sure the sprinkler systems are visible don't flatten them don't destroy them this unit is fairly heavy and uh but it's a it's a it's a very it's a very ver, uh what do you call it uh um uh, the word just left me it's uh, versatile that's what i wanted to say so you know here we go let's get inside here the basket this is called the basket Make sure you have a working fire extinguisher. Okay, don't don't do more than you can handle. If you're gonna park it somewhere, use a cone system to let people know what the perimeter is surrounding uh, your your unit, your your tool, your your uh, device, your uh, heavy equipment. Make sure you have to be considerate of other people as well, uh, especially in a setting like this, where there's uh, there's people renting these units. These are like condo units. Okay, so this is the panel. You have con different controls. We'll do different things. Uh, most important are. Um, you know how to go up how to go back how to tilt all these things is something that you need to study in a classroom prior prior to operating one of these okay and uh, when I mean operation you need to know uh, what to do what not to do don't take unnecessary risks and make sure you are protected at all times so I'm going to turn this around. So here I am and I'm wearing a safety harness. You cannot get into one of these without a safety harness. This is a probably one on oh, close to top of the line uh, safety harness is made by Sala. Uh, many of you have heard of, of this of this safety harness and it's probably one of the best ones out there. You can hang your cell phone here on one side. You can put a notebook here on the other. Keep track of things. Uh, if you happen to have walkie-talkies, there's one for Johnny. The painter man gets a walkie-talkie. Okay. Besides that, all right. By the way, the price tag on one of these, you need to have it. Okay. If you're in a commercial business, residential, you probably don't need it as much. Depending on how high you go, I would recommend that you use a um, some sort of system to protect your workers. Okay, you got to take them into consideration. One bad step and you're done. You could die. Okay. Uh, something that I use in this application here is... Um, Hang on, I'm having an issue. You want one of these devices. This hooks on the very back side of me. Hooks up in the back. This is something that you can hook. You know, these units have a hook. 
where you can hook things. This goes here. Okay, that's where that goes. So uh, every time you're in the basket, you need to have you need to be tied off. Okay, do not operate one of these unless you know how to. Don't get into it and try to figure it out. It, it takes a lot of coordination. Um, it's it's speed. Uh, you have controls that control speed. You can go fast, you can go slow. The response time for moving, if you move the basket way too fast, uh, what will happen is that uh, you could run into things, destroy things, damage things, and then you're held liable for that. Um, and, of course, your company is going to suffer some sort of reputation blow. If you don't... If you, it, always remember this. People always remember the negative. They don't quite remember the positive. One negative thing, forget it. That puts, that puts the tune on everything that you do. So, be mindful, be safe. Painters are people that are seen. There's people inside these units, and they're looking to see what you do, how you do it, and what your behavior is. Okay? So, please, guys. This right, this right here, it's not really pricey. But I'll tell you what, it'll save you from close to $100,000 if you happen to fall and break bones. I know. I fell in 2010, 26 feet. 26 feet is the third floor landing up there. That's about 26 feet. I fell from a distance from there to the ground. Okay? I know what I'm talking about. And I want you guys to be protected to be safe, do things in an orderly fashion, don't go crazy, okay? Haste makes waste. I wish I would have heard that, and I wish I would have worn one of these because I would not have had needed a, a helicopter, an, an $8,000 helicopter ride to, a tr to the nearest trauma center, which was on a helicopter. It took 11 minutes for me to get there. Oh, here's the bees. The bees are around. Okay, just the helicopter ride. The ambulance ride was $750 just to scrape me off the ground, put me on a stretcher, <laughs> diagnose me to make sure I'm not passing out or I have open wounds or something like that, which I didn't, thank God. And then they brought me probably about a mile and a half ride in the ambulance to the helicopter. The helicopter was pricey. Pretty, pretty helicopter though. Took me 13 months to recover. I broke my tibia, my fibula, my ankle in five pieces, and my arm. My wrist became part of my arm. <laughs> so and then therapy, forget it. So making a long story short, I ended up I ended up losing my house, and uh, we had eventually we had to do a short sale, and it took me about 10 years to get out of debt. Okay, if you're not protected, forget it. Protect yourself, please. Learn from me. I share these videos for you to know what to expect and learn how to do things right. And preserve your life in the process. Make the money and preserve your life. Be protected. Use safety precautions. Follow a protocol. Okay? And don't fall. So, um, so this uh, unit here, uh, you need a certification in order to run it. Every state is different. Uh, in most cases, a certification will last about three years, and then you have to get a, re a refresher course. And the refresher course uh, is not always transferable from one state to another. So I ended up moving from Boston to Washington. I had certification through my employer, but guess what? It's not transferable to this employer. So this employer had to uh, certify me. And I had to go through an eight-hour course. And, of course, I need to understand. I need to know how to use this. I know I need to know how to inspect it. Uh, because not everything that looks new necessarily means it's in its work in order. If you know what I mean. Okay? So, everything has to be inspected. And if you see some stress on a strap. Okay? Like, for instance, this has paint on it already. Okay, but 
you look at the stitching it's what you want to look at make sure that stitching is sound nothing is frayed make sure the clip works how it's supposed to work okay and uh, that everything is functional if it doesn't work don't use it you're risking your life this is your safety mechanism especially when I'm up there especially when I'm 40 feet up in the ground 50 feet off the ground inside of a basket God forbid you know all of a sudden the ground sinks in and then my my genie is like offset and then I flip God forbid <laughs> but it's happened you know what I mean the ground gave way from the weight so all of a sudden I'm f the person is 50 feet up in, in, in the air and the thing flips long story short follow safety do your job the right way haste makes waste make sure everything is functional everything is working don't get stuck with one of these way on way up high some have a mechanism where you can still come down others will leave you stuck make sure you have your cell phone on you because you start hollering <laughs> and nobody hears you you're done okay and don't do any monkey business okay thank you for watching Johnny Johnny the painter man's videos why don't you uh, click on the bell click on the bell uh, follow me so every time I make a video you get to see it and you get to laugh at me <laughs> because I'm I'm a beginner I'm not a, I'm not no nowhere no way shape or form am I professional okay so God bless you have a wonderful wonderful day be safe uh, be healthy wear your mask I'm not wearing it right now but I'm wearing this mask what is it N95 and um, keep your distance from other people you don't know who has COVID who doesn't okay take care God bless you talk to you soon